Hi, this is Yolanda from VanVeenBulbs.com. And in this section, we're going to talk all about how to identify worms that are damaging your lawn. Now, this subject is very personal to me because when we lived in Vancouver, we bought a beautiful new home and a new development. And I didn't realize at the time that it was built on a swamp. So the ground was just wet, muddy clay nine months out of the year. So getting a lawn to grow in muck is nearly impossible. So we planted a beautiful lawn into our backyard and by the second winter I noticed big splotches. They're in a circular mo motion. So they might not be perfectly circle but you'll find that just spots of your yard will die. And it'll just go from that spot and follow on. And within time I found all these grubby little gray worms all over the back patio and on top of the grass and everywhere and they were just disgusting and before long we figured it out we didn't know what was going on so they're gray and they're only maybe one to two inches long and they're fat and stubby and they will infest your whole yard so just by digging up an area where it's turned brown and if you can locate quite a few of those worms, I'm talking hundreds of them in a small area, then you know that you've been affected by the crane fly. So the worms are actually just the larvae for a crane fly. And a crane fly looks just like a mosquito, just a little bit bigger, a little bit different. And they will take over any swamp lands. And they're a huge problem now on the west coast of America. They originally grew in the swamps in Europe. And so when they came over here, they found the identical same areas. So to get rid of the worms in your lawn, you've got to figure out why they're there. And they're probably there because you're living in muck. And most new developments, if you think about it, are in areas where they wouldn't build before. So land is crowded and they're now developing in areas that were not even buildable 10 years ago, but they've rezoned them. And so a lot of the swampy areas just have a runoff area and they build new houses right in the muck. So the only way that you can get rid of these worms is by addressing the mucky issue. So what we did is we killed all of them using diazinon, which is a terrible chemical because it was taken over the whole neighborhood. And the problem with it is that it kills the birds and it kills all the other animals in the, that eat the animals that have been affected. So it's a last term resort. And um, in areas where they're just infesting, there's really no other choice. But an easy solution is just work on top and make some drainage. So t take in like four truckloads of dirt and build your beds up so that everything's not growing right in the muck. And then try to grass seed on top of whatever you have already. We did that and it worked really well. And another trick is don't try to grow grass in a swamp. Make a nice water feature, use gravel, um, do anything that you can to make that area beautiful. And remember, only use chemicals as a very last resort because nine out of 10 times when diazinon has been used, it's found that it really wasn't needed and it's getting into our groundwaters and our lakes and our rivers and it's becoming a big, big problem. So if you find worms in your garden, call your local extension, extension agency, from um, the Department of Agriculture and they can give you lots of good advice and sometimes they'll even come out and help you for free.